all right guys so welcome to my video this is going to be my last attempt at fixing this issue with the brake apparently there's a um, the code for an abnormal leak in the actuator and um i think partially it's my fault because i tried to do it the easy way um originally when i bought the actuator uh to replace it um i popped it in it didn't read any it didn't read the uh accumulate wait wait it's this is the accumulator that's the that actually that's the actuator is the is the little um pump thing but it didn't read the uh the actuator this is the accumulator and uh what i did was i swapped out the um the ecu that's what the guy uh suggested to me and i thought that might have been a, a, a all right idea and i i swapped it and uh, initially what happened was it read it pretty good it read it you know it uh, it, it 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 did its own thing it started it, 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 it pumped it, it did its own thing and uh up until the point I got the code for abnormal leak and I've had that code ever since that's the only that's the only code that I've ever gotten the thing about it is I think these these bolts are, are torqued to a certain um, to a certain uh, pressure and um, to be honest with you there's gaskets in there and I, I I'm gonna either I'm gonna either put out videos on that or I've had videos on that but I even if you were able to close out the gaskets I don't think this is a good idea uh, because well this is just from personal experience my personal experience as far as swapping this out and uh, I bought another one and and uh, I'm not gonna swap out the ECU Worst case scenario, I'll take to the dealership, pop a couple of hundred dollars for them to actually reprogram or whatever. Um, it was just uh, an experiment on my part, an experiment on my part, um, because I'm just uh, what's the word that I'm trying to say? I'm just really um, uh, stubborn when it comes to stuff like that, or maybe lazy. One of those two things, stubborn or lazy, and uh, I kept on swapping this out. Uh, thinking maybe I could close out, like uh, put some, put a, a gas, put gaskets on 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 the on the, uh, on, on the rubber gaskets. Like put gasket maker on a rubber gaskets just to see how it works out, and uh, it didn't work out. Uh, I'm still having this issue, uh, and uh, this is my last attempt at this. And hopefully, hopefully, um, I could actually just get this to just be reprogrammable as far as. Um, it, as the, the new ECU is concerned but uh, that's pretty much just what this video is about if you guys are thinking about maybe just taking this uh, the ECU and swapping it for the, the ECU on the brake the, this is the computer on the brake and swapping it out on another on another cylinder probably not not a, a good idea now, it'll definitely make it uh, easier to uh, you know you don't have you definitely don't have to reprogram it but the the, the other issues that come up is is the the the, uh, the the bolts will probably be torqued right to the to the certain pressure and uh when, once you take it out uh there's probably a chance that it's a leak um in 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 the accumulator itself so probably not a good idea i'm just putting out this video this is probably my last video as far as this is concerned um if it doesn't work out uh, I'm probably just gonna uh, find a way to just sell this car with this issue the way it is But I'm crossing my finger thinking that if I swap this out, it'll probably work But uh, I'm actually not hoping uh, I'm not I, I'm actually not uh, Gonna keep this car. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get a an Ionique a Hyundai Ionique and uh, Hopefully once I get this done and I sell this uh, I'll just pick up a Hyundai Ionique uh, with the uh, self-driving because that that's essentially what I'm into uh, these days And I'm gonna do that but anyway, uh, if you guys have any of your own comments, uh, any of your own experiences with this issue, definitely leave a comment in the comment section. I'm sure you guys do. Uh, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. All that good stuff. All right, guys, take care.